Hello again. I am back from a little visit with my brother. Um, we got together this morning on a cool November morning for a visit to a nearby flea market. And uh, not something I do very frequently, but he does a little more often. And of course, the real treat was spending time with my brother. And that sounds sarcastic, but actually, no, it's... Um, when it comes to family, I am indeed a blessed man. Uh, so nice to get together with my brother again and spend a little time uh, perusing the stalls and tables in the cold, cold uh, November air of Ohio. Uh, usually I go to these things and, and come away um, not any lighter in the wallet and uh, not carrying anything, but uh, there were a few booths today that got my attention and these um, vintage pencils uh, were at a booth that had a huge box of assorted older pencils and I restrained myself. Um, my brother is a much better negotiator than I am. I, I lack any kind of skills in that regard. So uh, he was in charge of that and I think did a, did a good job of uh, getting me out of there uh, with a good deal on some really interesting pencils. So I'm going to share a few of them here. Uh, I have multiple versions of the Dixon Laddie, and it is one of my favorite pencils of all time uh, in any iteration. And this is a nice unsharpened uh, blue 304 Laddie. Uh, have this jar here to keep pencils from rolling away and it's not working. Uh, this one probably won't roll away. Carpenter pencil, George Wickline, London, Ohio. Nice yellow and black theme there. It's seen some use. Uh, we have a, looks like printed for a left-hander. Unsure of who made this pencil, but it has a um, ruler, as you can see, in inches, which I usually use a uh, pencil, a measuring pencil in some of my videos that has centimeters. So it'll be nice for a change to use one that is marked in inches. This one, of course, I got just because of this fantastic ferrule, which is it's kind of plastic, space-age looking thing. Uh, the pencil is a Plasto Cap by Empire. Made in USA, number 871. Number two pencil has this glossy red finish. It's coming apart a little bit, just from age, and very unusual wedge-shaped eraser to fit in that odd ferrule. Kind of ridiculous, and it's set in a weird angle, but uh, so different, I wanted to have it. This one's exciting on a couple of fronts to me. Typewriter exchange. I'm also a fan of um, manual typewriters, as you may or may not know. There's always one sitting in the desk very close to where I'm filming. One of many that just happens to be sitting out. And this is Typewriter Exchange, East Gay Street in Columbus, Ohio, not too far from me. Unsharpened, kind of a mint green with a darker green imprint. Very nice. And another green pencil with an unusual ferrule. Venus Beats All. I have a few other Venus Beats All pencils but they do not have this giant um, two-tiered ferrule on them. So that's different. This one has been sharpened. Railroad pencil. I have a small but growing collection of railroad pencils. No uh, markings to tell me who manufactured this, but it is a number three pencil for the Pennsylvania Railroad. Pennsylvania. Get it? Uh, this is interesting. The pencil is kind of warped, and ordinarily I would pass over a pencil that warped, but it uh, is clearly a a uh, World War II era pencil, All Out for Victory, USA, 1776. Okay, it wasn't made in 1776, but uh, but it has a plastic ferrule, which tells me it was probably made when uh, metal was at a premium, so during the war years, the 40s. And all out for victory, kind of writing the 
patriotic uh, fever of the times. So really neat pencil here, even though it's warped, has not been sharpened. Um, again, don't know who made it. And I'm not sure what this shape is supposed to represent, whether that was going to be the U.S. I'm not sure if it's just a blob. I don't, I don't really know. Neat pencil nonetheless. Uh, let's see, Reliance Pencil Company, 1538, number two. Unsharpened. They used to have such fantastic ferrules on pencils, and they just, uh, they're, they all look the same now, almost. Oh, this one's going to be maybe hard to see. Electronic lead. This is an eagle, Kimmy sealed turquoise drawing. It's an F or a two and a half. Um, but I'm intrigued by that electronic lead. So whether it's like a test scoring type pencil, although it does say drawing an F, you would normally see a test scoring in softer grades. Here's another F graded pencil. And this is just a beautiful Venus President 3562. It's like a natural wood grain with a lacquer on it. Although actually, I wonder if it's almost like a some type of veneer. Sorry, I'm holding that very close, but I wanted to get up close and personal with it. Very nice ferrule. Of course, all these erasers are rock hard just from being so old. Um, this says pressure proofed USA on it. Uh, but looks like a natural wood with a lacquer, but uh, could be some type of really thin veneer of some type. Interesting. Here's a chunky, fat pencil, Husky by Empire, number 683. Uh, I haven't cleaned these up at all, as is obvious. They're still dirty from being in somebody's collection for decades, but I'll get some of these cleaned up. Shiny green metallic paint job on that. Now, this is a curious little very thin pencil designed to look like an arrow. There's no printing anywhere on it that I can see, although I'll take a closer look with my bifocals on and make sure, but uh, designed to look like an arrow, clearly. And then uh, Dixon's Red and Black in an H grade carpenter pencil made in USA. Very nice pencil there, needs a sharpen. I'll use my specially designed carpenter pencil sharpener on that. Then I had almost gotten away from the uh, flea market with only a fistful of pencils. And uh, sadly, Mrs. Moving About wasn't with me to talk me out of impulse buys, but the last booth before I got to my car, I had this display case that caught my eye and the uh, gentleman manning the booth made an offer that I couldn't resist, couldn't refuse, however the phrase goes. Uh, he said, $10, take it with you. And I saw at least a few scriptos in here. I didn't look at it real close, but uh, I'm a collector of scripto mechanical pencils, so... Uh, for 10 bucks, I thought, if I get a, a couple of scriptos, it'll be worth it to me. So, a uh, few things of interest. I'll try not to make this too drawn out. But you know what? If you're not into pencils, I guess you can click on the next video. <laughs> that sounds bad, but there are some really nice, classic scripto pencils in here. That one's hard to see because it's embossed and not really printed but we have an imprint on the um, clip that says scripto actually i'm looking at it upside down it is on there for a lefty but the printing on the barrel is printed the other way scripto atlanta u.s uh, so there's a at least one scripto there uh, the one that originally caught my eye was this the kind i used when i was in High school, a Scripto Classic with the translucent barrel. This one's in great shape. Eraser hasn't even been used, but it's rock hard. Has Scripto imprinted on the clip also. Doesn't say Atlanta, but I think they were still making them in Atlanta. Still has lead and still advances just fine. 
I don't think I have a perfectly clear one. I have several colors of this, but I don't have a clear one until today. That's what originally caught my eye. Um, there's this version of the Scripto, which I have never seen before. It has a tighter spiral inside to, for the propelling mechanism. This one turns. It may just be out of lead. I'm not sure. It may be defective. I'll have to check on that. It looks like it takes maybe a smaller diameter lead, um, but it is a Scripto and has Scripto and USA on the clip and Scripto on the barrel. But a neat little short mechanical pencil there. Um, let's see if there are other Scriptos. I think this is a auto point or yeah, I think this is this one's an auto point. There we go. This red one, I believe, is a Scripto. And again, Scripto on the clip oriented for a lefty. And on the cap, it also says Scripto Atlanta. The patent number, maybe. And on the barrel, nothing on the barrel. And I'm not sure what kind of material that is. That almost feels like an aluminum. I'm curious. What else do we have in here? I haven't really looked at these or certainly cleaned them up yet. Uh, there's a wherever mechanical pencil. Something that says, looks like a clutch pencil or a lead holder, L.C. Hartmuth. Uh, we have a um, E. Faber USA, another clutch type pencil or lead holder. Uh, Bell System. I don't know who made this, but it. Obviously, another mechanical pencil. There's a couple little souvenir type things. This one I was able to determine. I mean, it's shaped like a baseball bat, which is kind of a giveaway. It does say Louisville Slugger, Louisville, Kentucky on it. And it says baseball's 100th anniversary here. And there's something in the middle between Louisville Slugger and Louisville, Kentucky. There's another phrase there that I can't quite make out. I'll try to read that figure out what that says, but that's kind of neat. There's another baseball shaped one here. Um, this one feels plastic. I think this one's actual wood. This one's plastic. I think it also says Louisville Slugger on it. But this one has the Cincinnati Reds emblem on it, worn off mostly, but, uh, and I don't know who made these either, but they were clearly souvenirs for significant baseball anniversary couple of really colorful old marketing pencils. Johnson and Godin, Williamsport, Ohio, Stocker and Feeder, Cattle. Nice luster to that. Let's see if it... Nothing on the clip on either of these. This one is a Green Line Florist in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Still in beautiful shape, this one. Not really oxidized much at all. Maybe empty, or maybe just not advancing. Not sure. We'll look further into that. There's half of a bullet pencil. The top portion is missing. And where's the... This curious thing. Eagle Mikado, which they later changed to the Murado, but this isn't a pencil. It's just designed to look like the stub of a pencil, but it's a lead holder for HB leads. This looks like the traditional uh, metal end cap, and we have the metal ferrule with an eraser, but inside are these leads. I thought that was the cleverest little thing. Designed to look like the stub of a pencil, but clearly this is just how it was made. Very clever. Another presumably a lead holder here. This one says permagrip, so maybe not a lead holder. Oh, 
to hold your little leads for mechanical pencils, that is. A few other just odds and ends. I don't know what these are. There's probably a name on them. Um, can't see it. This looks like an auto point to me. Should have a clip on it, but that's missing. So neat. Uh, I don't think I said, but maybe I did say $10. Takes the bunch, and I got a few nice scriptos and some other oddities. So I'm pleased. Uh, stick. Stick pencil. A couple of those. Never heard of it. Not sure what it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, I better stay away from the flea market for a while. And um, Mrs. Uh, moving about, when you see this, all I can say is I'm sorry. I was with my brother, and you know, you know how that happens. Um, so thanks for joining me this time, and uh, maybe you will visit again. Thanks.